Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. El Nini is getting closer to a return from injury. Mohamed El Nini is getting closer to a return from injury, according to Football London's Tom Canton. Speaking on his YouTube channel, the journalist noted that El Nini has indeed started training outdoors after the Egyptian posted an image on Instagram showing himself going through some running drills. Unfortunately, El Nini will not be back before the end of the season, but according to Canton, the special Arsenal midfielder should be back in action and ready to go for a pre-season. Canton shared what he knows about El Nini. He said, Mohamed El Nini has started training outside. He posted on Instagram that he is now running after his serious knee injury that he had to have surgery on. Hopefully, we see El Nini back very soon. He should be back for a pre-season. I don't expect him to get too many minutes next year. But having him in the squad is always key. I often see El Nini after games looking happy and focused, and he is certainly a big part of the team. This is a great news for Arsenal heading into next season. Of course, the return of El Nini won't be season defining for the Gunners, but he will give Arsenal some greater depth in the midfield, and with the North London club heading into the Champions League next term, they will need more bodies in the side. El Nini may not trip up any trees at the Emirates next season, but his presence in the team will be key in allowing the likes of Thomas Partey and Jorginho to have a much-needed rest in a season where Arsenal are likely to be playing two games per week for pretty much the entire campaign. Make no mistake about it, El Nini's return is a boost. German club the separate to sign a Granit Xhaka Arsenal may let Granit Xhaka make a final decision on his future, with Bayer Leverkusen the separate to sign the midfielder this summer. That is according to a report from the Daily Mirror, which suggests that the Bundesliga side really want to bring the Switzerland international back to Germany in the coming months. Granit Xhaka has enjoyed a complete turn around for the Gunners, so it would be somewhat fitting if one of his final actions for the club proved to be that incredible block to deny Joe Willock at the weekend. According to the Daily Mirror, Chaka faces a dilemma over his Arsenal future, with Mikel Arteta keen to strengthen in the middle of the park this summer. He could make two signings in that position, and with that, Arsenal could be open to letting him go for less than £20 million. His contract currently has one year left to run, with an option for a further year. Moving to the Bundesliga would see Chaka link up with one of Mikel Arteta's closest friends, Xabi Alonso. Alonso has been outstanding since being given the Leverkusen a job earlier this season. It's noted that Chaka returning to Germany could have an impact on Arsenal landing one of their own target this summer. The Premier League title contenders are admirers of Moussa Diaby, so it would be interesting to see whether talks could lead to the pair going in opposite directions. Diaby is reportedly valued at around £66 million. Losing Chaka would be a blow for Arsenal. He has been a key part of the side, which has pushed Manchester City all the way this term, and they will now want to strengthen further to kick on. But after such a turbulent spell for the 30-year-old, perhaps this summer, may be the ideal time to move on while he is such a popular figure. BBC Pounded admits £12 million Arsenal player has completely proved him wrong this season. BBC Pounded Garth Crooks has admitted that he's been proven completely wrong by Arsenal midfielder Jorginho of late. Jorginho put in an exceptional performance on Sunday as Arsenal picked up a 2-0 win at St James Park. The 31-year-old has started in each of Arsenal's last two games and helped them to wins over Chelsea and Newcastle. He replaced Thomas Partey in the starting lineup with the Ghanaian struggling for form over the past few weeks. It's fair to say that eyebrows were raised when Arsenal decided to bring Jorginho in from Chelsea for a fee worth £12 million back in January. But the Italian is proving to be a useful option for Mikel Arteta, and Garth Crooks has told BBC Sport that despite initial doubts, Jorginho has proved him wrong in recent weeks. 
Crooks selected Jorginho in his Premier League Team of the Week after his display against Newcastle on Sunday, and the BBC Poundit admitted that he wasn't convinced about the former Chelsea man back in January. He said, When Jorginho arrived from Stamford Bridge, I wasn't entirely sure why Arsenal had invested in the Italian. I must say, I saw hints of why after his performance in midweek against Chelsea, but the way he played against Newcastle explained exactly why Mikel Arteta saw such value in the player. His experience at crucial moment in the match at James Park was clearly evident. He is the perfect toil for Thomas Party, who has had an excellent season, but is in the separate need of arrest like most of the players who played in the World Cup. Newcastle are a big side, and the moment they realized they couldn't outplay Arsenal, they tried to intimidate them and all the credit to the Gunners, they were having none of it. Jorginho has really stepped up over the past couple of games, and it's benefited Arsenal massively to have such an experienced player in the middle of the park. He's played in some huge games throughout his career, and it seems he will play a pivotal role in Arsenal's push for the title. The win at Newcastle was huge for the Gunners, as it kept them within touching distance of Manchester City. Rangers now keen to sign £2 million Arsenal man. Glasgow Rangers are now keen to sign Arsenal defender Aston Trusty this summer. That's according to the Daily Mail, who believe Michael Beal wants to bring the American defender to Ibrox in the upcoming transfer window. Glasgow Rangers will be back in the Champions League next season and will want their upcoming campaign to be better than the seasons. They lost all six group games and recorded one of the worst campaigns in the competition's history. Not only that, only this week and Rangers saw Celtic claim another Scottish Premiership title. It means that Michael Beale will need to strengthen again before next season. One option he is looking at is Arsenal defender Austin Trusty. The 24-year-old was signed last year from Colorado Rapids and then immediately loaned to Birmingham City. He's had a great campaign at the championship club scoring one of the goals of the season. Trusty was also named the club's player of the year and may now leave the Emirates before ever making an appearance. The report from the Daily Mail states that Arsenal's Austin Trusty is emerging as the man Rangers want to strengthen their defence this summer. Rangers are keen to get a deal done with Arsenal for around £2 million. Michael will know all about the Trusty from his time in the Championship. Not only did the Trusty win both games against Bills outside, but he also scored that wonder goal against the manager. Birmingham City have also been linked with signing Trusty permanently, but it's hard to see how they will compete with the draw of Ibrox. Poundit urges Arsenal to now target 27-year-old after a stunning improvement. Arsenal should be one of the sides which look at signing Ivan Tony this summer, with a striker capable of touches which evoke memories of Dennis Bergkamp. That is the view of Tony Cascarino, who was speaking to the Times following the striker's display at the weekend as Brantford pushed Liverpool at Anfield. It has been a remarkable season for Ivan Tony. The 27-year-old has scored 20 goals in the Premier League. There is absolutely no question that he would be receiving a lot more plaudits were it not for the form of a certain Erling Haaland. Many will be expecting Brantford to face a battle to keep the striker at the Dutch Community Stadium this summer. Antoni Cascarino believes that the Gunners should absolutely put themselves in the mix. He also made a big, big claim regarding who Tony reminded him of during the Bees' spirited display on Merseyside. He said, I cannot believe Ivan Tony's improvement technically over the past 18 months. He was one of the best players at Anfield. The brand for the striker has added all sorts of deft touches to his game, such as the clever pass that assisted Brian Buebo's disallowed goal. He has a finesse which, dare I say it, echoes that of Dennis Bergkamp. Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal and Manchester United should all consider a move for the player. 
Of course, there is something of an elephant in the room when it comes to Tony's future, as reported by The Guardian, he has accepted that he has broken the FA's betting rules and he could now face a lengthy ban. The forward is still awaiting the verdict on any potential ban, but if he faces several months on the sidelines, perhaps that may influence just how much interest there is in him over the summer. Certainly, if the situation wasn't hanging over him, you would imagine that there would be a queue of clubs ready to spend very big on the forward this summer. There may well still be, and you would imagine that plenty of Arsenal fans would love nothing more than for Mikel Arteta's man to make a move before he gets the chance to head elsewhere. Dusan Vlahovic wants a Premier League move. Striker Dusan Vlahovic reportedly wants a move to England this summer amid interest from Arsenal. That's according to a report from 90 Minutes, who believe the Serbian is keen to find a way out of Juventus. Arsenal are likely to be one of the most sought-out destinations for players this summer. Not only are they back in the Champions League, but they have carried out a brilliant title challenge by playing exciting football. Mikel Arteta's side have stylishly outplayed teams at times, but has not been afraid to dig in when necessary. Their win over in Newcastle on Sunday optimized this as they ground out a victory over one of the league's most stubborn opponent. Tusan Vlahovic now appear keen to move to England and Arsenal could end up being his final destination. Mikel Arteta is reportedly a big fan and may want another centre-forward option going into next season. The 23-year-old's move to Juventus hasn't gone exactly to plan. However, a move abroad might be just what he needs to find his best form once again. The report from 90 Minutes states that Dusan Vlahovic representatives have told the Premier League clubs that their client is keen to move to England from Juventus, 90 Minutes understands. The ridiculous forward made headlines during his time with Fiorentina and Serie A. The £61 million forward scored 21 goals as a 20-year-old before netting 17 times in 21 games before his January move to Juventus. Since his move to Juventus, his goal-scoring form has dropped off, although that may be due to their style of play more than anything else. Vlahovic is a very talented young striker and knows where the back of the net is. Journalist is confident that Declan Rice is signing for Arsenal this summer. Speaking on Sky Sports Back Pages podcast, the Mirror's John Cross has tipped Declan Rice to join Arsenal this summer. The journalist was discussing Rice's future at West Ham, and he says that it's more than likely that the England international will sign for the Gunners this summer. Indeed, the reporter says that he is now led to believe that Arsenal have overtaken their rivals in the race for Rice, stating that the North London club have done plenty of groundwork on this deal. Cross shared what he knows about the insane midfielders. He said, Listen, I think Arsenal are the favourites in the race. I think more than likely he will end up being an Arsenal player. I think Arsenal put in a lot of groundwork as the clubs do in the summer and they have overtaken rivals that have shown an interest in the past. I think they find themselves in pole position for Rice. Arsenal want to build on the season and midfield is the area they are looking for. Rice is their number one target. Signing Rice would be a real statement of intent from Arsenal, and this is a signing that would show that they are now at the next level. With all due respect, when was the last time Arsenal won the race to sign one of the most coveted players in English football? It's been years, but this signing would certainly punk to wait the Gunners' return to the top table of the English game. Of course, we are still some way away from being able to say that this is a done deal, but all the noises are suggesting that this move is edging closer and closer to completion. Don't be shocked if you see Rice posing with a red shirt in the coming months. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.